What is up guys? Today we are going to be building some intercooler piping. Now this is part three of my Mazda Speed 3 series build, but today we got to connect our turbo right here. This intercooler pipe right now that's going down, we need to connect that bad boy underneath the engine and then back up into the intake manifold. So this throttle body right here is where we gotta connect to. So with this one, what we're trying to do is just go underneath the engine and then go up to the turbo. I've seen this done a few times on a few other Mazda Speed 3s, but I wanted to try it myself. So now we are making custom intercooler piping. Now this is just basic eBay intercooler piping. Super generic stuff, super basic. It's literally just an intercooler aluminum pipe that is, you know, just a basic 2.5 inch pipe. It really doesn't matter the quality of your piping as long as it's not gonna explode. So eBay will do for piping. Now it goes without saying, this is the blow off valve that I'm not gonna be running for my setup since my turbo has these anti-surge holes. I'm gonna be running no blow off valve, so hopefully it'll run all right, but let's build us some intercooler piping. Ooh, look at that girth. Yes, sir, 58, 58 precision, baby. Big turbo. All right, so we gotta set this boy on the exhaust manifold. I'll give you guys a good little look right there. Let's set this guy down in there. Gently. All right, so that'll do okay we have our turbo just sitting there obviously it's not on the manifold part right there but that's good enough so we got to get this pipe down there connected to that one as you can see that pipe is not going the right direction so we're gonna have to cut it and then we're gonna have to try to make it fit at the right angle which means we've got to clock the turbo now what that means is we just got to spin the housing so that, that guy points straight down so that's the hardest part. After that, we just gotta connect the manifold, go underneath the engine, and then connect up to that one. So let's clock this turbo and get that cut up and get it ready to go. Guys, now to clock one of these turbos, super duper easy. They have these bolts right here that are for the housing itself. Now there's also bolts right here for the exhaust housing. So as you would expect, this center black piece spins and then both housings spin relative to that. So you can do any orientation you need to in order to get it fitting the right way. But as you can see, we gotta loosen these bolts right here. And then we gotta be, lift off our uh, housing and we should be good to go. All right, they're loose. Hopefully we can spin our housing just a little bit. Only gotta spin it a tiny bit, so I'm gonna set you guys up right there. Hopefully you have a good angle for it. Let's see if we can get it to move at all. There we go. So that's more like it. That's kind of what we need right there. All right, you guys, so we got it loosened up. Now we should be able to carefully remove this. Extra carefully, I hope. Yes, just like that. So now we got our turbo exposed. As you can see, we've got our O-ring on there. This is what the housing looks like. It's pretty sweet. But now, we gotta chop this off about right there, and hopefully we will have our turbo ready to go. Man, isn't that sick? All right, you guys, we got this end cut off. Now it is time to test fit. Hopefully, it will fit well. Get it lined up. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I've got the turbo just lightly placed in its spot. It is uh, clamped down to the manifold. And as you can see, we've got a pretty good spot right there to get our turbo going with this intercooler pipe. So now we're gonna put a coupler on this turbo, right on the end right there. Then we're gonna try to get this connected underneath so we can get our intercooler setup going. Hey guys, at the end of the day, this is what our setup looks like. So as you can imagine, we are just going to be going down from our throttle body underneath the engine. And then once we are underneath the engine, we are gonna be going back up to the turbo right here. So as you can imagine, this U-shape goes underneath the car. 
something like that. Hopefully up, something like that. This bad boy. And as you can see down there, kinda. Let's try to pull this guy up through our hole. All right, so we got our pipe up through the hole. Now let's try to adjust it. It's kind of tight back here. That's more like it. Now if it would go on, that'd be great. There we go. Nice. Oh, sorry for the bad filming. But we got it on. So as you guys can see, that is a little bit more clean. Try to get the turbo tilted where it needs to be. Something like that. So as you can see, we've got our intercooler pipe on there going straight down. And then of course, this guy fell off. Let's put this guy back. And this bad boy has gotta go on. So as you guys can see, I finally got that on. A little bit of struggling, but it's basically done. So as you guys can see, it goes down, goes down, then it meets underneath the engine. And man, doesn't that look sick? That is just 10 times better. Now I can get a little bit closer to starting the car. Just gotta do a little more wiring and of course get this front end on. But that is part three. Now in one of the steps, we're gonna add an intercooler and add our, of course, front mount setup. But that is basically it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this under route setup. Hopefully you liked today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.